Hey, I'm gonna do some trailhead stuff real quick. Um, it's for the data and action and flows. It's the first one. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Go down to the to this. I'm gonna go ahead and retake the challenge. All right. Creating not a launch flow. I got stuck on this one. There's a couple places I got stuck on, so I, I couldn't find any anything online that really like addressed like the specifics. So I went ahead and I'm just gonna record this video. Hopefully I help somebody else out. Maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know. But I figured I would do my due diligence and do it. <clears throat> so that's the flow right there. So the first thing, I'll go ahead and split screen it. So the first thing we gotta do, it wants us to do is create an auto launch flow. This this whole thing does not tell you how to do that. They assume that you already know how to do that, uh, which is crazy. Just like anything else, just type in flows. You see flows under process automation, go ahead and click flows. Ignore all this bullshit. Click new flow. They said they want an auto launch flow. Here it is. Bam. Create it. First part I got stuck at. We're coming right up. It says create a resource. For some reason I thought resource was this. Uh, it's not. This is an element. Uh, this is how you create your resource. So the first thing that they want us to do. They want a variable. Uh, count ID and then they want text bam I created that now they want a second one it's for formula I think it's like week to day or something there we go week from the day that's what they want very simple equation here go ahead and put that oops put that right there data type date go ahead and check the syntax make sure that's good to go bam add an update records element now I'm getting to the part where I was trying to do for the resources I was like I can't find this thing so there's only one little plus sign right here and it's right there and that's where we're gonna go they want an update records element with the label type to customer Oops. type to customer APIs click the specify conditions the object is going to be an account and then filter account records field ID <clears throat> account ID equals the account ID the text make sure when you're doing this too the very you're, you're doing the variable you're not doing the uh, object it won't let you save it I don't think here's another part it's gonna get wacky so right after this it says oh yeah and it the requirements to update it doesn't tell you doesn't tell you is it an or statement is it an and statement just just do the default and just pray for the best hope for the best anyway so after I'm done setting that up oh yeah I need to select another field yeah oops I'm gonna have to there we go select another uh, field we want the type the type in equals the customer direct customer direct now we're good now don't get this tripped up either it says after you set this up do an element so just to be on the safe side I do this right after the element this is a new element here don't do it right here don't create an element right there create an element right here right after it at least that's how I took it maybe I'm wrong maybe it doesn't matter where the hell I put it I don't know 
What the fuck? Hold on. Anna has an appointment with Dr. Genevieve Carnegie. Yeah, I know. Y'all tripping ass. Not, not, not you guys. It's my, it's my goddamn pediatrician. I try to say that my daughter didn't have no health insurance, and I'm like, what you talking about, Willis? Because <clears throat> the Medicaid, they cut me off. They ain't cut my daughter off, and all of a sudden, they're trying to say that she got cut off. I'm like, what? Anyway, select this again. Object, task. Bam. This is also where I got tripped up at the first field is activity date right oops <clears throat> but it said due date and I'm like where's the weekend thing at right here well this is just a field if you go over here you'll see week from the day I wasn't paying attention to that and so I got caught up on it everything else is easy peasy the way they got to set up the field before the colon or the thing that the prefix before the colon is the field after the colon value that's how they set it up they don't tell you that so they hope that you're smart enough to figure it out but it's not that you're not smart enough it's just that there's just so much information going on with this thing man I'm telling you I'm actually trying to be a developer I don't, I don't even really have any interest being an admin Oops, excuse me. But the way they do it is kind of like the Marine Corps. Every Marine is a rifleman, right? Well, every sales person, person every sales force dude is a admin. At the end of the day, you're an admin. I guess that's the way they wanted it. That's the way it's, it's got to be. That's cool, I guess. But it's just really frustrating because I want to code. Like, I don't want to do this shit. I want to do some math. You know, that's what I want to do. I don't want to do no clicking and dragging and all. I, I don't care about customer relations. I, I don't care about none of that. I, that's that's business shit. I went to school to do some math. <clears throat> I want to do some programming. I want to do some algorithms and figure some shit out. But they won't let I have to get certified as an admin to do that. And then I can be a developer for Lightning or whatever projects they got going on um so yeah so we're done <laughs> go ahead and save this it's not going to let me save it with this name uh but i, I will assure you you got to take my word for it that i literally did the exact same thing i just showed you i that's i the exact same thing all right So I'm going to go ahead and check the challenge here because like I said, I already had this up. I just want to walk you guys through it. And Boom. Okay. Again, this is in the data and actions in flows trail. I uh, still got some of this left, and after I knock that out, I'm going to take my practice exam. I'm about done with this. I've been doing this for, for months now, and I'm ready to get certified and hopefully launch into a new career path because the one I'm currently on is just my college failed me. Which is funny because I remember Salesforce in college. I remember they were still kind of... Salesforce has been around for a little bit, but they were finally starting to pick off off the ground about six years ago or so. And now look at them. It's crazy, man. But anyway, I hope this helps somebody out. Um, if I see anything else that uh, it's not online, available, readily available online or in a blog or something like that, I'll, I'll try to make a video about it. Um, it's the least I can do, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's it.